Maths Prof and today I'm going to show you how to work out the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is just the space inside of the shape, okay, so inside the circle. So before we get started, the formula to work out the area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. Now, remember when things are grouped together like this, it means they're being multiplied together. So you have to multiply this special number pi, which is an irrational number, and it's approximately, approximately equal to 3.142. You have to multiply that number by the radius squared. Now, the radius of a circle is just the distance from the circumference to the center of the circle. And it's the same wherever you look on the circle. So this distance from the circumference to the center would also be five and the same here, okay? So it's just the distance halfway across the circle. So in my first example, to work out the area, I have to multiply pi by the radius squared. And in this one, the radius is already given to us, it's five. So you just multiply pi by 5 squared. Remember squared just means multiplying by itself. So this is just 5 times 5, this part here. But for this question, I'm just going to use the calculator because pi is a long number. There are lots of decimals after pi. So to do this really accurately, I need the calculator. So on the calculator, usually you have to press shift before you get the pi and then multiply by 5 squared. So I'm going to round this answer to one decimal place. So that gives me 78.5. So remember, the units for area are always squared. So because this was in centimeters, my units for the area are centimeters squared. And that's the final answer, okay? So that's the area of circle number one. Now, in the next one, it's the same formula pi multiplied by the radius squared, except in this one, the radius is not given to us. In this one, we're given something called the diameter, which is the distance all the way across the circle, passing through the center point. So remember, the radius is halfway. So if we calculate halfway, we have to divide 18 by two, which gives me nine. Now that I've got the radius, I can work out the area of the circle, just like in the example above. So I'm going to do pi multiplied by 9 squared. Okay, so again, put this in your calculator. So press shift, then pi, multiply by 9 squared. And again, I'm going to round to one decimal place. So this one is 254.5. And remember the units for area? Centimeters squared. Okay, so that's area of a circle. Some exam boards expect you to memorize this, okay? So some of you will have to learn that off by heart. Even if you don't need to with your exam board, I still think it's a good idea to learn this one. It's not too difficult to remember and um, you'll become much quicker at the questions if you know it off by heart, okay? In my next video, I'm going to cover finding the circumference of a circle.